I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back to my models and I'm going to go into my bicycle model. And there are many different models here and each one of them does something different. Like the countertop, for example, leverages the drawing, the positioning of the sink and the, the, the dynamic drawing of that uh, for you. You have uh, the section door where those sections are dynamic as well and they get drawn on the door based on calculations and information that you give. Down here you have a 3D house that uh, gets created as you build that model. This one here is a configuration of a bicycle. I'm going to click on that just to show you a couple of different options. So we've seen how we can pick options and uh, look what this one has done. When I picked my bike, automatically my rim got populated. So what this has done was to, based on rules, set up a standard already defined default for the rim based on the particular bike because there is only one type of rim that this bike can have. So again, that uh, declarative engine where I started up there, but I already interfaced and changed some defaults here on the bottom part. I'm going to go ahead and continue on my configuration here. Notice that I'm doing it out of order. See my picture. Pick a couple more options here. When I go to my accessories, notice again that I already have a lot of yellow boxes. The yellow marks a default configuration that was picked for me. So it's kind of a, a guided selling. This could be because we make more margin on this or maybe because previous questions gave you an idea based on the customer profile, what they are most likely to enjoy or have. And then you can always change them to another option. It'll, it'll tell you the, the different options that are selected here for you. For example, the first one is the one that uh, was already defaulted, but you can pick different ones. You see here in this case, this one is probably the one with the largest margin. Uh, I can go ahead and pick either through here or through my zoom button. I select different uh, options. Okay, great. And you can see some of them are still yellow because they're the default and some of them changed to white because they were not the default options. You can pick some mud guards here front and back. Now notice here this line is a dynamic accessory line. What that means is that I can pick a quantity here and I can pick an accessory. Drum brakes, for example. But what if I'd like to add another one of these accessories? Well, I can simply just click this button and create a new line. Again, back to that dynamic form. Let's say I'd like two bells. And actually, this, is, this drum break, I like two different drum breaks, and I can go ahead and even copy that line into another line. So here I have a dynamic number of accessories that can be added on the fly based on your customer specifications. If I go into my report, you see how we had the details of the door in the last configuration. I can actually add some more notes to it, to this particular one, and I can generate a report, either here an, an HTML report or a MS Word report. Go ahead and generate this MS Word report. While it's doing that, open. While it's generating this report here, I'll minimize that for a second. Oh, there it is. And as it generated the report, it gave me the price that I had configured, the type of bike. So this is leveraging a some, some static data and some dynamic data based on the configuration. So from here, 
I could have created my sales quote directly to that customer as I just configured. If I close that for a minute, I'll come back over here. You have a particular date that this quote was created. You can also go over here and email. So you can just straight from here, you can type the information up and email that configuration or that quote straight into your customer. You could have taken an order, the order could have been placed, you could have taken and emailed out the specific order details and information, or in this case here was just a quote. So this is just another example of some of the features that can be used for your particular models. And I showed you an example of a door where you can create your dynamic drawings. You can have mul multiple different types of questions. I showed you an example of a bike. You see the bike on the right side, that picture. You have some defaults that are already selected. And then you can create some reports. In this example of the bike, it was the quote that I could have sent out. Either printed it out from the Word document, could have uh, emailed that out to the customer, however you see fit for your particular business. So feel free to come over here and play around on this website. Again, I have the link up top, econ-demo.to-increase.com. For more information about this product or other to increase products, please visit www.to-increase.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.